Hello everybody and finally welcome back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. This is episode 41, I'm Xenogeno Matt, and last time we did some minor side questing before we continue on to the Fallen Arm and see what we can do there. Right now I just wanted to quickly go through a couple of these side quests that I've done and then we're going to get back into the main story. Kapiki prepare offering right now. Come call on Kapiki again, friends. So this was for getting stuff for the Nopon Sage. He's going to offer another quest there, but instead of going to see him, I believe I want to change time and head down to the storeroom. Off camera, I've completed some non character specific quests like non-named NPC given quests you know. just to get some extra XP. Woo hoo hoo hoo! Humming bits and rumble bits. Yeah 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 yeah. New and wonderful melodies. A flood of exciting sounds. Listen to that phrasing. New melodies for inspiration. La 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 lulu lu. so very grateful to all of you. Ooh, quick step three gem that'll come in handy all right well I th oh no there's one more i need to go to valak mountain and i believe i need to go talk to some researchers about some antals and chilkins uh these ones here at the Napon camp now it's been a bit safer you can now do research here, this is a thank you present. Alright, easy enough. Go offer some more stuff, but I'll get into that later. Anyway, let's head back to Junks. How are you? Talk to Lenata. You're back. Have you finished looking around the village? Then I'll answer your questions. Where should I start? Let's listen to her. So, are you Mekon? In one sense we are, and in another we are not. It is a fact that the weapons you call the Mekon were created by our civilization. However, we were born from the Mekonis. By your understanding, it would be correct to say that we are the same as Mekon. A form of mechanical life born of the Mekonis. Is that correct? From our perspective, you are forms of organic life born of the Bionis. Life born of the Mechonis. So there is life here, just like on Bionis. Explain to us why you invaded our world. What did we ever do to you? I understand your feelings, but please, there is much yet to tell you. Dunbam, please hear her out. But... These Machina, they're good people. Fiora? You do not look fully functional. Ever since she was given this body, she hasn't been feeling too good. But we honestly don't know what to do. Do you mean to tell me you are not Machina? W why didn't you tell me sooner? I'm okay. Really. Nonsense. I am a doctor. Do not worry. I specialize in people in your... situation. Just as I thought, you were transformed into a face unit. You are experiencing a functional breakdown in multiple locations. I will take her to my laboratory. The chief will answer your questions. He is waiting for you in junks. For us? We will speak later. Shulk, I'm... Fiora. Don't worry, I'll keep an eye on her. Thanks. Alright, head on inside and let's go see this chief. Huh. He's massive. 
I get a kick out of seeing people's faces every time. <laughs> we were told that you were waiting for us. That's right. I've been waiting a long time. Waiting for you to accept my request. Request? But first, let me ask. The sword the young man is holding. Is that the monarch? It is. And the destruction of the fortress on the sword. Was that your lot's doing? Yes. Although, unfortunately, we were unable to stop Egil. Egil? Do you know him? He claims to be the leader of Makonis. This Egil that you fought is one of our people. He's my son. Your son? Actually, my request is about him as well. Ah. Oh. I want you to kill Egil. Dearest Homs and Nopon representatives, my humble gratitude for accepting our invitation. I am Kalyan Antiqua, regent of the Hyentia. We all know who you are. You Hyentia have kept yourselves safe, remaining spectators to our destruction. Why call upon us now? As stated in my invitation, it is our intention to form an allied force from the peoples of Bionis, with which we will confront Mekonis. Look at you. One little scratch and you're already crying for help. I cannot deny this. The attack did serve as the catalyst, but the fact remains that things have changed. When we needed help at the Battle of Sword Valley, our cries were ignored. Give me one good reason why we should bother. Ah. I understand your anger. Our selfishness was inexcusable. However, please hear what I have to say. Listen to why our stance has changed. <laughs> Stop talking if you like, but no promises we'll stick around to the end. We High Entia were mistaken. We believed that if we were attacked by the Mekon, our power alone could repel them. But a brave group of young heroes showed us the error of our ways. When the Mekon descended upon Erith Sea, Shulk fought with a courage I have never seen. I was most surprised to see that this group was comprised of different races. Homs, Nopon, High Entia. Although different, they trusted one another as friends. As just one inhabitant of Bionis, I desired to... No, I felt compelled to become strong like them. Mm. Their strength came from the Monado. Bravery only gets you so far in this world. Then you will not join us? Hold your horses, son. I said they didn't win with bravery alone, but they wouldn't have got far without it. All right. You can count on our help. The Nopon will join too. The Hom Hom and Bird people are friends of the Nopon. We will fight together. Dixon, are you leaving? Yeah. It's just I felt this sudden pain in the neck. Is that your response? Don't go jumping the gun there, Prince. I'll leave the colony's forces with old Atharon here. You can use them however you want. I've got somewhere I need to be. Might I ask where? A battle's more than just a head-on assault. The sooner you realize that, the better. I better go and remind Shulk and all. So you know of their whereabouts? I told you. I've got a pretty good idea. Dixon! Yeah? If you should meet Shulk... What? I have something I want you to tell him. You want 
us to kill your son. That is no small request. There are hardly any of us Machina left or Mechonis. Back when the Bionis and the Mechonis were fighting, the Bionis almost completely wiped us out. I suppose the Bionis just didn't want us around. Lady Maynard fought the Bionis for us. In the end, the two Titans wounded each other and entered a deep slumber. Who was Lady Maynard? The creator of Mechonis. You could say that she is the Mechonis itself. It's all like you saw all this. Ain't this all just an ancient myth? <laughs> I know I look young, but I'm actually quite old. I saw the whole thing with my own eyes. You can't be serious. The people of Mechonis must have a longer lifespan. Just like we High End here live far longer than Homs. I get that. But he can't have lived that long. But why do you want your son dead? From what you've told us, I would have thought you'd want us to destroy the Bionis rather than kill your own son. Agil was a brilliant young man. Clever, strong, and kind to the less able. But he never forgave the Bionis for what it did. And he swore to take revenge. So he wants to do to us what the Bionis did to the Machina? Correct. Agil is trying to eradicate all innocent life on Bionis. He has to be stopped. Didn't you ever try to stop him? We tried once. A lot of people were killed. He's blinded by revenge. Even Lady Maynard herself couldn't convince him to stop. Where is Egil now? Most likely the Mechonis capital. He's trying to restore its former glory all by himself. I feel sorry for him. Oi! What are you talking about? Did you forget what he did to us? I haven't forgotten or forgiven. But Egil's clearly suffered a lot in his life. You don't feel any sympathy at all? All I know is, this stinks. Who cares what he's been through? Ryan. I understand about Egil. But why us? You should be aware that Shulk's sword, the Monado, has the power to destroy Mechonis weaponry. It's said that it was once the sword of the Bionis. Doesn't the very sight of it make you quiver? Zanta. Oh, just talking to myself. If you're gonna kill Egil, you'll need all of that sword's power. That's how strong Egil is. But enough talk. You must be tired. Take your time and think it over. Until the young lady's treatment is finished, feel free to spend time in our village. <laughs> She has done well to survive such injury. What do you mean? Is she sick? Since you seem to have knowledge of Homs medicine, I'll explain it like this. I'm afraid she's had several of her organs removed. Am I correct in assuming she was configured to operate inside a Mechon? That's right. She has been transformed into a Mechon's central nerve unit. Her blood can now circulate through a Mechon's components. How? I believe her immune system is now configured for compatibility with the Mechon. That's why her strength has depleted. But you can treat her, can't you? Please. Of course. Even as a Machina doctor, I cannot turn a blind eye to this butchery. With our equipment, she will regain her strength, but she will be stuck with this body. I cannot restore her flesh and blood, Hom's body. That's okay. I don't want to be a burden to Shulk. I don't care if I have a machine body. Just make it so I can fight beside him. Fiora, leave it to me. If that is your wish, I'll do my best. I must implant a new circulation system for her immune functions. But we have one problem. A problem? I don't have a piezoelectric unit, which is required to control such a system. As long as she remains on this bed, the life support machine can compensate. But to move around freely, she must have the piezoelectric unit. The same unit is used in Mechon, so if you were to find some Mechon parts... But where? 
Well, outside of the village at the base of Digit 5, there's a beach. Debris from above washes the shore there. You might be able to find one among the Mekon wreckage. We'll take a look. The beach at the base of Digit 5, right? Yes. It gives off a faint red glow, so it might be easier to find at night. We have our objective. Let's move out and go find that piezoelectric unit. Might as well talk to some people here. Welcome. Like Zekit? Question mark. Hi. Just to get these people registered to our affinity chart. Yes. Natalia, she's a Homs. Trying to get something to someone. Don't mean to burden you with this, but I need some help here. I need to get food to the villagers keeping watch outside the village. So she wants us to bring food. We could deliver the food. At the base of digit two. Okay. Seems easy enough. Who's up here? Another Homs. How's it Carlos. Going? There we go, getting some early affinity. And this is the last new area in terms of affinity chart breaking up. Here is the hidden village. It's pretty small, so affinity actually fills up pretty fast. For this, I want to show off the power of this uh, attack group of Shulk, Dunban, and Rhyme. Got a landmark here, giant mech on debris. I guess I'm really not high enough level to have bolts ignore me, but this is fine. We'll fight our way to Digit 5. Let's just topple lock central with these guys. I'm just locking them in days. Royal Volpide. Scout unit prototype. And there's a lot of collectible orbs here. I will be taking those. Looks like he's gonna alert the others of a fight. Digit 1 crevice. New area. That should be a fairly quick fight. So I level up. And here comes a chain attack. Backslash. Soaring Tempest. War Swing. Maximize damage over all enemies. One more down. This M56 prototype doesn't look like it's going to last much longer. And I got my talent gauge for the next time I need it. And another chain attack to finish it off. Two and one. Now the reason I just use the chain attack whenever I can is the more chain attacks you use, there are some in-game achievements towards using a whole bunch of chain attacks. So I figure, you know what, if I have it, might as well use it because the rate at which I get them is pretty high. And also, well two, one rate at which I get them is pretty high, two, they end fights quickly, and three, when I eventually do complete some of those achievements, it gives me a nice little boost of, exp of XP. So I'll take what I can get. So there are the, the fingers on the fallen arm, or the digits as they say. Dark fish. 
and another dark fish. It's a dark fish feast. An 87 prototype, level 55. Here's the digit 5 beach. But right over here, we have a landmark of interest. Sour turnip. An oil oyster. And here is the black wreckage. And you'll notice... Here is the final resting place of Mumkar. Rip. Rip Waluigi. And here's the Digit 5 Beach. I pick out these two offensive security units, and right over there, that little red orb should be the Kaiser Electric unit you can send to find. Seems I am taking a bit of beating. Alright, I've got two tanks. Please go after them. Thank you. There's a unique enemy called Splendid Focus? Bodus, I think? I think that's that one. That patrols the Digit 5 beach, so if I can get that electrical electric unit without attracting the attention, that would be nice. Good job, everyone. Perfect. Okay, how do I want to do this? Actually, this could work. I could go down here. Yep, there's the unique enemy. Yep, splendid bodice. I can't tell if they're looking directly at this. Tried it yet? Okay. That's fine. Just lure them down here where they're not gonna get in the way. As long as the unique enemy stays away long enough. Just art spam it quick. I think we're good. And there we go. Okay. Got it. Alright. Let's return to Junks. How are you? And we did find the unit. Here you go, Lenato. I think we found it. Is this the Paizo Electric Unit? Yes, that's it. Well done. Leonardo, will Fiora be okay now? She'll be fine. It will just take me a little time to reconfigure and install the unit. Leave it to me. You get some rest. But... Shulk, do you want her to see you looking exhausted when she wakes up? You're right. I'll try and get some rest. Thank you for everything you're doing. Uh, by the way... Yes? The chief says he wants to speak with you. I think it's about Egil. I'll go and see him. He wants Egil stopped. And so do we. But I need to sleep on it. Good. You mustn't overburden yourself. We will help you in any way we can. Thank you. And sleep on it we shall. Heading back out here, we're gonna head over over to the left. Right past the ether light. And this nice machina has prepared a place for us. We'll take a rest. Um... How are you? Sleep well? Yes, very well. I... wanted to, uh... Um, talk about your son. Have you made up your mind? Yes. We agree with you. Egil must be stopped. But we can't act now. Oh? Why's that? Before we came here, 
We heard of plans to form an allied force on Bionis. Any day now, they're going to launch an attack on Mechonis. But it's too dangerous. Egil has made a weapon that could kill us all. The weapon that Mumkar was using? The one that shoots green fluid? He said it can decompose any being from Bionis. We have to go back and warn them, before it's too late. Well, you could always ask me to do it. Dixon! What are you doing here? I can't believe you found us. Why? This place is directly below the fortress. If you fell from up there, I figured you must have ended up here. And Bob's your uncle. <laughs> you're looking well, Dixon. Ah, I see you're looking like your usual old self. You know each other. Kinda. <laughs> I scratch his back. He scratches mine. He tells us about the outside world. And we give him technology and information. Why did you keep that to yourself? That information is vital to all who fight Maconis. Not all of us Homs are good people. What would happen if the Maconis hating types found this place? These Machina cut themselves off from the world to get away from pointless fighting. So they escaped to live in peace. Somewhere they wouldn't be seen. Makes sense. Clever little crown princess, ain't ya? So this is where you obtained all that stuff you brought back to Colony 9. I wondered where you were getting it from. I thought it was fine as long as it helped shulk out at the lab. I guess the secret's out now. So, that weapon. How dangerous are we talking about? I haven't discovered why, but it disintegrates anything it touches. But only if it's living tissue from Bionis. Hmm. Bet that would come in handy. Dixon. I'm only joking. Anyway, for now, just don't let any of it touch you. I'll come up with something to counter it. Leave it with me and I'll keep you posted. You lot go and take care of that eagle or whatever his name is. If you take him down, the Allied force might not even be needed. Okay. Let me think about it for a bit. Fiora. Ain't made your mind up yet. Dixon, listen. Dunban told me all about it. The goal of your mission. So, you wanted to avenge Fiora? Yes. But you found her alive, and now you've got her back. So, you're all done now, ain't you? <sighs> what are you fighting for, Dixon? Me? He just gets right under my skin, that Egil guy. Because he's trying to exterminate the Homs? There's that. But that ain't everything. It's his hatred for the Bionis. Or more like his aim to wipe out everything that lives on the Bionis. <sighs> I'll tell you one thing. That Bionis allied force is coming together quicker than I thought. Really? Yep. That high end tier prince is really moving things along. Will they launch an attack on Maconis? Of course. But it looks like the Prince has got another plan. He gave me a message for you. When the Allied Force attacks Mechonis, you don't need to join the fight. He wants you to take advantage of the chaos and do what it is you need to do. Prince Callion said that. I was pretty surprised too. He looks like a sissy, but he's got guts. Yeah. I think that's the type of man he is. So, what are you gonna do? 
He wanted me to let him know. We're going to the Maconis capital. You're gonna take down Egil? I don't know. I can't forgive the Mekon for what they've done. But after listening to Mikol, I think there might be another way. You're too soft. Do you really think that? Too right. He's the self-proclaimed leader of Mekonis. I heard about what he did to the Monado. If you face him, it might get eaten up. But you have to throw everything at him. Even if there's only a slim chance of winning. Hesitate for one second, and you're a goner. We won't let Shulk die. Not ever. Fiora, are you okay to be walking around? Yep. I have to hand it to her. That Lenarda's pretty good. And not just with machines. She's also quite familiar with organic physiology. You went to get the things you needed to cure me, right? I'm sorry I caused all this hassle. But I'm fine now. I'll be by your side, fighting to protect you. No matter where we go, no matter how difficult it gets, Shulk will do the right thing. It doesn't matter how slim our chances. Shulk will always stick to the right path. And don't forget, it's because of Shulk that we are all here, fighting together. I think that shows he has a strong character. Am I wrong, Dixon? Well, when I think about everything you lot have done, I can't deny that. Dixon, we're going to the Maconis capital. About the Allied force. Yeah, leave it to me. I ain't gonna let anything happen to the colony. Those Mekon won't get away with anything else. Are you going? Yes. Thank you for all your help. <laughs> you might run into someone called Venea in the capital. Just mention my name, she'll lend a hand. Venea? Is she a machina as well? She's my daughter. She won't be far from Egil. Hold on. You mean she's Egil's sister? You've got it, lad. And you say she'll help us? The girl doesn't want to hurt Egil, but she doesn't like what he's doing. She should be a big help to you, young'uns. I don't know why she'd help us, but... We'll try and find her when we get there. <laughs> Good luck. Fura, don't forget. I've only made temporary repairs. I think you should be able to fight, but don't overdo it. Come and see me the moment you experience any further system failure. I will. Thank you. In the meantime, I'm hoping I'll find a way to restore your former body. Is that possible? Theoretically, it might be possible to use your genetic information to regenerate your missing organs. Sorry, it's unfair for me to give you hope. To be honest, there's very little chance. But if there's even the slightest possibility, I'll have to try. Thank you, Leonardo. Fiora. <laughs> Don't make that face. Okay, let's go. Off you go, kid. I'm counting on you and the Monado. Don't let me down, Shulk. Why did that face betray me? And that light? No, that is not possible. It must have been remnants of memories from her former life that made me lose control. Memories. They are what limited the potential of Metal Face as well. I now know that I must erase every last trace of what they once were. All my servants need is the instinct to fight.
this Hom's female. She was with the boy who wields the Monado. The light of her memory. It shines strongly in this one. Bring me face 20814. So it is this male. The boy Shulk remains a thorn in my side. I will enjoy watching my minion crush him. Be still, my servant. I see that your memories cause you much suffering. 